In this video, I'll show you how to open a PDF or a zip file directly from your Captivate project. I got a message from Gabriel who was asking uh, if it was possible to have a button to directly download a single file, PDF or zip, instead of using a URL for Google Drive, etc. Um, I feel like I've done this video before, quite frankly. In fact, I feel like I've essentially done this video very recently, but you know, I've got so many videos now, it's really best that I recommend everyone subscribe, just like Gabriel, he's a subscriber of my YouTube channel. So make sure you, you select that. But uh, in this case, it's easier for me just to show you uh, from scratch here. So I've created two buttons on my slide. One I've labeled uh, a PDF and one as zip there. We go into the Actions tab first for the PDF version. And uh, I like to turn on the hand cursor and disable the click sound. And what we're going to do is select open URL or file. Now, in this case here, you could type in a web address. So you could open a website like adobe.com or captivateteacher.com. Alternatively, we can use the folder icon to browse to where we might have such a file. In this case here, I've got Alberta's uh, occupational health and safety code. And I'm just going to click on open there and you'll see the full URL. Now, in previous versions of Captivate, you had to manually drag the file over to your published folder. Uh, you don't have to do that now, so just maintain C colon uh, users, Paul Wilson, OneDrive, etc., whatever the location of that file is. Leave that intact. Uh, the old Captivate users would traditionally take out that beginning part of the, uh, the file location, just leave it there. Now here's the thing. Uh, do, you don't want it to take over your current window because that's going to break the connection with your learning management system. Instead, select new, and this will open in a new project. I will typically unselect continue playing the project because we'll probably want to stay on this slide waiting for you to finish downloading or opening and viewing this file. Similarly, let's do the zip file here. So again, we'll change the on success action to open URL or file. We'll use the folder icon and we'll go select our zipped up version. It's actually just the same PDF, but I put it in a zip file there and we'll do that. Same thing, open in a new window and we'll uncheck continue playing the project. A little thing I typically do with my buttons is to make sure that the hand cursor and the click sound are disabled. Well, the hand cursor is enabled and the click sound is disabled. And that just gives it a better sound. No sound at all in this case here. Let's preview this in HTML5 and see how that works. So the first thing is the PDF file. If I click on that, it's just gonna open that file. And this is true, even though I'm running this locally on my computer, this is true uh, if I publish this. Uh, and let's go back and do the same thing for the zip file. It's going to open a new browser tab and then it's going to prompt you to save that zip file. And of course you can place it wherever you wish. I'm just going to hit cancel here. And I'll just show you if I publish this to my computer, you know, with uh, whatever e-learning reporting is turned on, maybe scalable HTML. And we'll just call this test project here and I'll just hit publish test project here. We'll go ahead, go open that up there. And you can see that the two files have automatically been copied over as part of the published project. So that should work fine for you. Uh, in this case, it's even kept the name that was something that was a concern before. Uh, so now you have a fully functional version of this project, everything's good. And there you go. Hope that helps, Gabriel. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.